beauties, this is Sam from Instant Beauty. So in today's video, I wanted to give you my five worst, worst, worst mistakes that you can make when you're wearing clip-in extensions. So for the first mistake, and like number one by far worst thing you can do with extensions, clip-in extensions, is to sleep with them. So in, in other videos, I've mentioned this like a hundred times at least, but um, you know, seriously, biggest boo-boo you can make because you will end up damaging your hair, giving yourself bald spots, um, breaking your hair. Sleeping with clip-ins is a bad idea, so always be sure to remove them and give your hair a nice brush afterwards, um, just to just to you know comb out any tangles if you have any, just so that you can avoid damage to your own hair, and um, you know comb your extensions out and put them away safely, so then that way you can wear them again the next day or the next time you want to wear them, and they're ready to go. The next mistake uh, that I would say is a big one is when you're um, applying your extensions, you know, putting them in in the wrong spot, but but specifically placing them up too high. A lot of people like to do this because it, you know they feel that they get the volume and um, and yes, it's true. But if your hair is pretty thin or on the thinner side or even a little bit greasy, as I'm sure some of you like you know can relate to, if you put them too high, you can see the clips. And that's like the biggest mistake, one of the bigger bigger mistakes you can make because it's uh, obvious to people. Like you maybe you think when you leave the house they look great, but then as soon as you leave, you know a little bit of wind blows or something, and boom, you can see your extensions. So um, that's definitely one of my uh, top five. It's number two actually on the list. The next mistake would be not clipping them in securely enough. Now, as we all I'm sure have experienced, putting clip-ins in can be a little bit tricky, especially if you're not used to it. But when you're putting them in um, without grabbing enough of your own hair, so the teeth can you know have something to hold on to, or even like even if teasing it a little bit so that the teeth really can can stick securely, um, people don't do that. Sometimes they'll put them in, not even pay attention, not really grab uh, enough hair, and then you know halfway through your event or through your day, if you're wearing them on a daily basis, you'll notice that they come loose, they poke up, they slide down. Uh, anyways, those are that's you know not ideal obviously uh, so <laughs> I would say that that would be one of the bigger mistakes people can make with wearing clip-in extensions so um, always be sure to put them in securely so they feel comfortable but also so that they stay in for you know the duration of when you need them for <laughs> the next mistake that people make um, would be after you remove them to just like throw them in your purse or you know a lot of times I'll have clients hand me their extensions that they want me to fix up for them because they've basically like literally put them in their purse or um, you know in a bag or something but all you know tangled up and just like throwing them in there that I mean that's gonna really uh, ruin the life of your extensions like you're not every time you have to comb out a tangly mess you're gonna like end up breaking some extensions off or you know it's just gonna make them look really ratty and dry so you know you definitely want to take care of them when you remove them and uh, like I was saying earlier comb them out and put them away so then that way um, you know you actually get enough wear out of them and get your money's worth so the last biggest mistake people make with clip-ins is um, not getting them cut like or, or blended into their hair so you know sometimes you can order extensions like 20 inch length and your natural hair is up to your chin so I mean that is a huge length difference from here to like your stomach so um, it might look fake if you don't cut them or blend them uh, or if you know if the colors off a little bit you should get them professionally dyed just so that it matches beautifully with your own hair and they don't look fake because I would say looking fake is one of the mistakes you can make when wearing clip-ins. There's no point. Um, it just looks kind of tacky and uh, it's very a simple fix if you just kind of get them cut a little bit. You can try doing it yourself. I actually have a video on that. Um, although I wouldn't recommend it if you're not comfortable with doing it because you can ruin them and then you know you lose all your money. So I would definitely uh, suggest you know getting them cut to blend and making sure you style them correctly so that it blends beautifully and you will not make any mistakes with wearing clip-in extensions if you follow all those tips. Uh, that's, it for this, that's it for this video, guys. I uh, hope you have a great one, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.